sees their protect, he knows the type of... Oh, he's catching out. Yeah, RNA are actually coming around to this top side. Unlimited gonna speed himself up. There's a great taunt coming down. And Unlimited is gonna fall there. First blood coming in for Millennium. It's RNA that gets that one. And I tell you what, with a red buff on, Forgiven might be in trouble as well. He did flash away from the stun, but he did get stunned up at the same time. Really, really low. Millennium, on the other hand, hasn't been able to poke the bot tower at all because of it. Oh, the taunt coming in. Yep, RNA are actually coming up towards this top lane. Forgiven did get taunted. There's a stun coming down. He's got no flash. Is he going to fall? Actually, managing to get pretty far away from them. There's the speed up. There's the spear oh. coming in. The barrier was down as well. So, so very close. He didn't buy anything yet. He was like, he only had the don't shoot. But you see, ulti coming in. Yeah, there is the drop coming down. And Forgiven actually going to 90 caliber net into it, but he gets him further away from the hook, which is what he was aiming for. And Kautar, they just had themselves a bit of an exchange as Youngbuck diving in here on towards Kevin. And amazing coming across the side. There's the ward down. Oh, great flash from Kevin, though. Amazing. Oh, so right now, Really good point actually for Millennium and they can make pick up. Oh, gang come in. Oh, this could be bad. Creates and actually getting stunned up. They're gonna go for Jerry though. He's down to about half HP as the box comes in. Well, Creates are doing tons of damage over towards Unlimited. There's a good block of the AC in the hole from Jerry. Shen ultimate. They could potentially go in on Kaltar in a bad trade and then Shen ultimate him and then win the whole trade and try and take down a turret. It doesn't seem like, oh, oh, wow, nice gank. Yeah, that was a big flash in there from that one. Kautar going very, very low. He is ticking down, and it is Kerb that picks up the kill. Um, he's left himself in a little bit of no man's land for this one. Amazing going to come in around the side. Will land the Q onto him. There's GP a flash well. in front to kick him back. Jerry here going to get hit by the ace in the hole, all the way from the backside there by Forgiven. In on top of them, but they've got all five men. There is the drop coming in from Aranea. The turret actually going very low. Looks like they might try and stay and finish this one off. Aranea actually going to fall there. The turret goes, uh, does go down. Forgiven going to be focused on, but he's managed to back away. Ignite finishes him off, and now he's four versus two. Too. Not super healthy, but with Kautar able to chase down here, they might be able to do it. Creighton actually flashing in there very aggressively. He actually picks up his barrier. There is the lantern as well. And that was a crazy, crazy exchange in mid that leaves us at two for two. Down to first target. Oh, and speaking of burst, Creighton down to half HP there without realizing what hit him, I think. I don't think he expected quite so much damage to come his way, but with all those men down there, Youngbuck actually diving in aggressive. This is a 4v1 until the rest of the team finally get involved, but Youngbuck is gonna fall before anything really happens. Kevin has come down as well. Now the chase goes on towards Unlimited. Kevin's taunt's gonna be up here in just a second. Lands it perfectly to pick up the double kill as well. Set up by the Copenhagen Wolves, and Aaron Ayer is just gonna walk straight into this one. It's a lot of damage, but Stan United actually used, there's a kick back, but the hook landing on towards Amazing. They're going straight in. This is now a 4v1, because Kautard has left. Millennium pick up a kill for free. So, we see Mandrop coming in the mid lane, do we? Yes, we do. There it is, and it's Aaron Ayer right on top of them. The hook not actually landing in there, but Unlimited being hammered away on by Kirk. This is surely a dead man, and it will be. And what can they get on towards the backside? Forgiven is hammering away on them right now. They need to deal with him. There was a rake coming in, but Jerry's going to fall. I feel Aaron is going to suffer the same consequences here as well. Somehow getting towards the back there. But look at Forgiven. He's still alive, actually. And that will be an ace for the Copenhagen Wolves. That's now even harder as Kautard here, man. He just get himself caught out. There's the dive on towards him, and he's gonna rift walk away, but the slow already down. There's the lantern to help out. He's used the Zonias, but I don't think that's gonna save him. Or will it rift walk? At the very second he comes out of it, will get him off to safety. Good decision though by Copenhagen Wolves to not try and fight for this. Cuddles with back. Are they actually chasing this one? Ah. Uh. I'm not sure about that one. Aaron A, you know, he's not incredibly tanky. Amazing could probably just finish him off from this one. He's going to get caught out completely at that point. Fin but due to the Sonyas and the fact he's... Uh, oh, actually, he kept going in. Yeah, he's right in the middle of them all, and he's not as invisible as he thinks there. Kautard will be picking up that kill and fighting, except for the one on Unlimited. And look at this. They're on the tower right now, the Copenhagen Wolves. They take on a lot of damage, and actually, Youngbuck will go down after picking up that turret onto this bottom lane. Yeah, you see Kerb actually going on Kaltar, can you try and pick up the kill? Yeah, the thing is Kerb's down to less than half health with that one. Obviously we did see the ace in the hole come in, the Q from Amazing just flashing by there. And this turret now less than half HP, can they finish it off with this wave? Amazing actually tanking it up, they've got Youngbuck to tank it. The next wave of minions actually is headed up there right now as well. Looks like they may even try and get it on towards Aranea. He's down to less than half HP, takes the lantern though back to safety. 
Falcon fighting in mid lane, but due to a very bad team fight, Kauta got in even though he didn't have too much damage. They still managed to win it. And Young Wax, face checking. Yeah, he is literally on his own right now, going in towards Kreaton, and popping his ultimate. The rest of his team finally getting in behind him. And I tell you what, Millennium needs to react to this one quickly. That inhibitor did just respawn, but the entire Copenhagen Wolves team have come up. We're going to see Kurt maybe coming in from the backside. A hook lands, but it lands onto Youngbuck. Here comes the man drop, but who will it hit? Youngbuck, I think, is the only one really affected by that one. Kurt has dove on towards Forgiven, but he will be picked off in the end by Kautard. And now, surely just a matter of time, Unlimited falls low. That's a good hook. On towards Forgiven at the back, but he manages to stay alive for so ridiculously long. Kautard using that Sonya's, and funnily enough, Millennium slowly but surely coming out on top in that fight. We can see that Kritz is chasing them down, but needs to be careful from this one. I don't think that he's going to get amazing, but Unlimited may be a different story. The speed boost coming in. Kritz might be able to dash out there and have a go in just a second, but the chase won't be enough for him in the end. And actually kill Forgiven instantly. Which... They've taken their time on in that last fight. They did kill him, but the fight before that, he actually got away as the AC and it all comes through. No one blocking that one. Kevin just needed to sidestep and get in there. Kreaton going incredibly low. Kerp actually going with his ultimate and the rest of the team. Kevin gonna get caught out. We'll see exactly how tanky he is in this one. As Youngbuck gets in there to the front. All the damage piling now onto RNA at the back. He's gonna be falling down three kills straight away. This surely is gonna be game for the Copenhagen Wolves. Kautar dives onto Kerp. That's an easy kill, blown to pieces. And now only Jay Ree stands between the Wolves and a victory. The only thing Millennium did this fight was run away. The Copenhagen Wolves catch them out. Great engage actually coming in from both Kautot and also the, the ulti from Forgiven hitting Kreatons. He was so low, he couldn't stay and fight. This one is going to be the win for Copenhagen Wolves. Solid victory there for the Copenhagen Wolves and Millennium's run. He continues here. Now one for five.